Hello, my name is Mark Morris and I'm a planning consultant at Urbanist Architecture in London. Today I'm going to talk about how to get planning permission for building on Greenbelt land in the UK. From big developers to couples who just want to build a home for their retirement on that little patch of land, there's no shortage of people dreaming of building on the Greenbelt. The government's official line is that they're determined to protect the Greenbelt, but more and more houses are being built on it. So we can confidently say that getting planning permission for your home isn't impossible, but it is difficult. We're going to briefly explain what the Greenbelt is and what it isn't, and then how to go about getting planning permission to build on it. Greenbelt is essentially a circle of notionally undeveloped land around British cities and towns, designed to stop urban sprawl from eating up the countryside. We tend to talk about the Greenbelt, but actually there are lots of them around different places. Contrary to what a lot of people assume, there's nothing green in the modern sense about the Greenbelt land. It's not necessarily biodiverse, and it's rarely ecologically protected. It can be used for environmentally unfriendly purposes, like intensive agriculture or golf courses. This is Greenbelt land? Well, this isn't. However, the government want the openness, which generally means a lack of visible buildings, protected. So how do you go about getting planning permission? Well, the National Planning Policy Framework gives a list of possible exceptions to the no building on the Greenbelt rule. It goes like this, buildings for agriculture and forestry, facilities for outdoor sports and recreation, cemeteries and allotments, extensions to existing buildings, replacement of existing buildings for something not much larger, limited infilling of villages, limited affordable housing, redevelopment of previously developed land. Apart from infilling of villages, all of this has to be done causing minimal loss of openness. If what you want to do doesn't fall into any of those categories, there's still paragraph 79. So what is paragraph 79? It's part of the National Planning Policy Framework, and it outlines the rare circumstances when you can build an isolated house in the countryside. These are as a home for a rural worker, if you're protecting a heritage asset, if you're using reusing a disused building and you're enhancing the setting, if you're subdividing an existing house, or, and this is a very important one, so we're going to quote it in full, the design is of an exceptional quality in that it, is it truly outstanding or innovative, reflecting the higher standards in architecture, and would help to raise standards of design more generally in rural areas, and would significantly enhance its immediate setting and be sensitive to the defining characteristics of the local area. Like we said, this won't be easy. You'll need both a planning expert and a really good architect on your side. The planning expert will look at your site and what you want to do and work out which of these exceptions can apply in your case. They'll need to know the Greenbelt rules inside and out and also understand what your council's particular approach to allowing or not allowing Greenbelt housing is. Then you'll need an excellent architect. They'll have to come up with something that specifically fits your site whether that's an unobtrusive addition to a village or a truly radical and imaginative paragraph 79 house. With urbanist architecture, you'll be working with planning experts and architects at one firm. We think this coordinated approach is crucial to the tricky business of getting planning permission for your Greenbelt project. We're absolutely not going to lie to you and say that getting planning permission to build on Greenbelt land is easy. And we're not gonna tell you that we can guarantee it because that would also be untrue and you should never trust anyone who claims that they can. What we will tell you is getting planning permission to build on Greenbelt land is possible, that we've obtained it for our clients, and that we'd love to help make your Greenbelt dreams come true. If you want to know more about planning permission in the Greenbelt, you can read our blog post in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us at urbanistarchitecture.co.uk. Thank you, and it's been nice talking to you today. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, click to subscribe, or get notifications, and you can follow us on Instagram.